this video, I want to show you a feature that Adobe just added with version 9 of Photoshop Elements. It's called Layer Masks, and it makes things a lot easier for Elements users. Previous versions of Elements had layer masks with the adjustment layers, and there was a trick for borrowing that layer mask for regular layers, but it was kind of a clunky workaround. Now you can easily add a layer mask to any layer inside the Layers panel. Let's start by going to the Layers panel and click and drag your background layer onto the Create a New Layer icon. You can see it added the duplicate layer to the Layers panel right above the background layer. Now I'm going to apply a Gaussian Blur to the new layer. So go up to the Filter menu, go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and it brings up this dialog box. There's a radius slider inside the dialog box and the higher the number you put in there, the blurrier your photo gets. So I'm going to go to about 20, click OK, and that makes our photo pretty blurry. Well, here's where we apply the layer mask. Go to the bottom of your layers panel and click on this little circle inside a square icon, which is the add layer mask. And it will add a layer mask to whatever layer is selected in the layers panel. And notice around all four corners there's this little border. That indicates that our layer mask is now active. Now go over and look at the bottom of your toolbox at the foreground and background colors. The foreground color is the square on top of the other square. And you want to make sure that that square is black. If it's white, you can click on this little curved double-headed arrow to switch between black and white, but we want black. And then in the toolbox, click on your brush tool to make it the active tool. Now with our foreground color set to black, our brush tool selected, and our layer mask active, all we need to do is paint over our photo and you can see that it takes away the blurriness wherever we paint and you can see the sharp photo from the background layer underneath and you can see that that black painting is also reflected on our layer mask so what we're really doing is we're concealing the blurry effect that we applied to our duplicate layer Here's the thing to remember. If you paint with black, it conceals, and if you paint with white, it reveals. But think about what you're concealing and what you're revealing. You're concealing and revealing the effect that's on the layer that shares your layer mask. In this case, the Gaussian blur effect. So when I painted with black, it actually concealed the blur that I applied to that layer. So let's say that I want to reveal the blurriness just to their noses. Well, I would go over to the bottom of my toolbox and I would switch to white because remember, white reveals and I want to reveal the blurriness. So I paint with white on their noses and it reveals the blurriness over their noses and you can see that that's reflected once again on our layer mask. If I want to conceal the blurriness on their noses once again, I'll switch to black and just paint over them. And that will conceal the blurriness. And I can paint anywhere on my photo and it will do the same thing. So if I want to open that up a little more, I just paint where I want it to be opened up. Now this is a very powerful and useful feature when using elements. It's a bit confusing at first, but it's well worth sticking with until you get it. I hope you found this tip helpful. To see lots more information on Photoshop Elements, visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, take care.